Jumptron. The Japanese make some crazy shit, yeah, but what can you expect? They've lived isolated on an island for like, what, thousands of years? Your brain's bound to make up some weird stuff. As one time I saw Tom Hanks was living on an island and he became best friends with a ball. A ball! And he was only there for like a couple of years! Now, can you imagine how many tentacles this ball would have had coming out if you give him a couple more decades on that island? But nowhere was this craziness better exemplified than the Japanese shoot 'em up genre. Uh, to them, this meant no holds barred. You could make a game about an artichoke that shoots scud missiles and it'd probably sell. In fact, I think that exists. I think I have that. It's a, it's a platinum seller. Ah, the memories with this one. I still have the nightmares. Well, you got your classics like Galaxian and Galaga, the mothers of all modern shoot 'em ups. You got your arcade favorites like Raiden, Twin B, R Type, and Gradius. And then there are the ones that are a little more out there, like Space Harrier or Parodius. Now most of them at least make some sense, but those aren't the ones we're talking about today. We're gonna look at some of the weirder games this genre has to offer. Let's start with Fantasy Zone, a classic example of the subgenre known as cute em ups Your objective is to destroy flowers and pollen and, I don't know, bugs and stuff. They're all really cute and it makes me feel bad because maybe I'm really the bad guy? This one stands out because you can travel in both directions, which was a pretty significant deviation from the normal side-scrolling or vertical-scrolling shooter back then. You bounce back and forth and blow up enemies to collect coins. Classic! You buy power-ups for your ship, fight a boss, and advance to the next level. What's interesting here is that it's structured like an iPhone game, or even like a Flash game. And we all know how popular those kinds of games have become in recent years. So popular, the market's oversaturated to the brim. 30 years worth of foresight! Damn, Sega, wanna use that some of that nowadays? Some of that, some of that on this? Fuck's going on with y'all? The ship in this game, adorably named Opa Opa, has actually been considered to be one of Sega's first mascot characters. Wow! To think this guy's up there with the likes of Alex Kidd, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Billy the Sex Offender. What did you, did you forget about that guy? Well, I didn't. I'll never forget Sega. Hey, whoa! Maybe it takes some Pepto-Bismol before you come into work, chief. I spin peas all over the dang place. Next up is a game called Panorama Cotton, a game about, uh, you know? Cotton, I guess, uh, and uh, panor uh, panoramic pictures. Those are nice. Let me tell you, the story here is one for the ages, like, uh, oh, all right, what's that, yeah? Okay, yeah, all right, I'm, I'm into it. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. All right, that's all the motivation I need. Let's get this show on the road. Man, I don't know exactly what, but some shit is going down right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, all right, that's good. Now, I think I know where I am again now. Oh, wait, no, I was wrong. Still absolutely confused. This game's kind of like Space Harrier, actually, and surprisingly, it's pretty fun to play. It feels good to move, speed up, slow down, and grab the power-ups. Oh, and that was just inappropriate. All right, what's next on the bill? Uh, let's see. Harmful Park, highbrow gag, and pure shooting. I mean, sh should I be holding this? I mean, can I can I show this on this show? This is fucked up, dude. Highbrow gag and pure shooting? Sounds like we're talking about an aristocratic serial killer. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, okay. So harmful park refers to the fact that we are literally in a theme park that is dangerous. As in, it is filled with enemies that will harm you. Oh, I get it now. It's like my other favorite game, True Sword and Lots Magic, Adventure Boy. Bizarre nomenclature aside, this game is amazing. I mean, it, this is simply one of the best shoot 'em ups I've ever played, and I'd never heard of it up until now. You got weapons like pie, which is throwing pies. Ice, okay, that's totally ice we're looking at. Potato and, um, Jerry? Jerry! John's getting upset! I'm willing to take a guess they meant jelly, like in jelly beans, because that's what it looks like you're shooting. Oh my god. Well, this guy's got a cat living in his head, so that might explain the whole anger thing there. <sighs> that Frankenstein just flipped me the double bird, and then lasers came out. <laughs> Two can play at that game. Now, I'm 
a wager, the only truly harmful thing in this park is me. You know, the lady shooting lasers at everything, okay. Next up is a game called KO Flying Squadron for the Sega CD. At least this one has a somewhat normal name. In the eighth year of the KO era, Japan neared the end of its feudal period. The shogun, facing an uprising by the anti-government movement, asked France for military help in order to suppress the rebellion. As the French were unwilling to assist, the government turned to the American delegation that was visiting Japan at the time to negotiate the Japan-U.S. peace treaty. You see, America was known as the country which had established a unique scientific technology. Uh, is that going to be on the test? Oh, I get it now. History science. This game is great too, honestly. It plays well, just like Harmful Park. The animations are really smooth, and it's got that whole Japanese mythological style going on. But it's uh, it's a bit overshadowed by the uh... hyper cutie bunny chase. I'm scared. I'm moving on. When I set out to make this episode, there were two specific games I had in mind that I wanted to play. Two that really stood above the rest. The first one, Samurai Zombie Nation. As you can see, I think this is really going to be a treat just based on the cover. Oh! Is that a witch? Hey buddy, you alright? You got a sneeze? Somebody get this guy a tissue and also maybe a paperweight as he seems to be getting caught in this light breeze. Oh, and also, what was that? 1999, what appeared to be a harmless meteorite. Yeah, I'm not sure harmless is the word I'd use for that. Crashing into the Nevada desert had turned out to be Dark Seed. Oh no, not him. An evil alien creature with horrible powers. Oh, all right, we're fine then. They just said his powers suck. Dark Seed had turned the helpless nation into zombies and had brought the Statue of Liberty to life to do his dirty work? But what Dark Seed didn't realize is that she's too big to do inside people things, so he had to come to terms with doing his own laundry most of the time. These rays had also given him control over many deadly weapons, but none were more powerful than the legendary samurai sword Shura. When the great head of the samurai, Namakubi, heard that the sword had fallen into evil hands, he set off immediately for the United States. <laughs> All right, familiar territory. First level, New York. Know it like the back of my hand. Continue? Well, uh, well, yes, absolutely. I don't ever want to stop doing that ever. Wait, 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 wait. So when they said the great head of the samurai, oh, they literally meant his actual head. Oh my God, why or how? Now I'm not too sure if I'm the bad guy or the good guy because I kind of look like the bad guy right now. But then again, bad guys don't go left to right. What, what is happening here? First of all, this looks like Las Vegas, not New York. Now, I'm not quite really sure how this works at all. I'm shooting eyeballs out my head, coughing up remnants of my trachea to the people below, and I think my life is measured in a bulldoze. Can we look at this for a moment? I'm a goddamn severed head of an emperor's ghost come over from his creepy doghouse in Japan to the United States to save everyone by killing everyone. Where did this guy learn how to save a country? The United States? And yes, this is supposed to be the good guy. In the intro, it says he comes over to stop Darkseed and save the helpless Americans. Oh, we sure are helpless, there's no doubt there, but I, I don't know about the whole saved thing. Can you tell me then, if this is what the good guy is doing, what is the bad guy doing? I need to see that shit. How many eyeballs that guy got in his eyes? I'm no eyeball scientist, but I don't think you get to have that many eyeballs. All right, we have seen some pretty crazy stuff today, but we've only got one game left. Choaniki. I mean, what could this possibly throw at us to surprise us? I mean, we've seen it all by now. I'm speechless. Quite literally, I, I, don't, I don't even need to say anything. I think this does the talking for me. Well, here's Choaniki, a game for the PlayStation 1 that was, uh, something. You can pick from a guy or a girl character, and they both look so enticing, don't they? Which one are you gonna pick? Ah! Uh, here's the story. Willing to guess we don't need to listen to this. A 
Okay, maybe we did need to listen to it after all. No, not my wiener. My one weakness. So it doesn't matter what happens, you have to play that part before the actual game begins. I don't even know if it has any bearing on the actual gameplay. I even sat here and played until it ended naturally without me dying, and nothing happens. You know, this may come as a surprise, but I still don't know what the fuck is going on. You got a lady shooting lasers with two angels. You got muscular guys scooting by on computer chairs. Muscular guys uh, pogo sicking on other muscular guys. It looks like Adam's back there waiting for God to come create him. Oh, hey there. How are you? Uh. Oh, okay. What do I have to pay to have you never look at me like that again? What did I just see? Was that Arnold Schwarzenegger with a comb over sticking out his HR Geiger dick? I'm not looking again. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, that's what it is. That's the last one. It's over. I, I, I literally can't believe what I'm looking at. I, I honestly can't believe it. It's a self-defense mechanism. All right, buddy, don't get too happy about this. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, what is that? Oh lord, I think I'm coming down with a case of the vapors. <laughs> I have fallen, and I choose not to get up. Well, at least Pope Francis decided to show up, presumably to perform an exorcism on his shit. And I gotta tell you, without this guy here to regulate this human pyramid fight, this would be truly chaos. Now, that's what I call a hot mess. Hallelujah, it's raining men. <laughs> fuck, fuck. What what even is this one? A snail frog? Oh guy, what are you doing? Really? No, seriously, this is your method. Did you practice this? No, I gotta tell you, I'm scared straight over here. What is even happening here? Is this a glitch? It is not a glitch. I mean, this was uh, this was explicitly programmed by someone. I I have lost faith. I've lost faith. I'm not going back in. No, I won't do it. Seriously, no. I'm not going. I'm not going back in. It's it's done. Cut. Can maybe somebody put me back in the Kubrick? I want to go back in the Kubrick. Like somebody maybe can take me to the room where I become an old man and watch myself die. Yeah, it's fine. Like you don't even need to give me the whole space baby thing. I'll I'll go without the space baby. Okay, fine, I'll take the space baby. <laughs> JonTron is supported in part by companies like Audible.com. JonTron is free to watch, but here's a list of things that aren't free. Food! So if you feel like supporting JonTron and helping it grow, consider signing up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com using this link, audible.com slash JonTron. If you sign up right now, you can get a free audiobook, and if you don't like it, just cancel. It's hassle-free. This month, I recommend to you Fast Food Nation. Hey, let's not lie, I don't think I've had any shortage of that. Thanks for watching. If you need the Audible link, it's in the description as well. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. That's how you can stay updated with the show. And if you want to watch more JonTrons, click those annotations right there. See you next time.